Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back <clears throat> to another video. This video is my results for the um, New Market Open 2017 competition. This was my first competition I've ever gone to. And um, I actually did okay for my first competition, I think. Um, but I came home with um, an, a pretty cool title. Uh, I got a really lucky scramble for Pure Minx. Uh, if you don't know, the Canadian national record was also broken uh, for 3x3 and for Pure Minx um, for single solve. Uh, Ryan Cho got a, a one point something solve, and Bill Wang got a 5.71, which is up on my channel. My dad actually happened to be recording when he got that. Um, record which uh thanks dad for coming in clutch <sighs> so i got a pretty cool video out of it um but for i guess um since everybody gets the same scramble i got the same scramble that the national record was on because i ended up getting a 4.76 4.67 uh single which means that i am 67th in the country for um Pure Mink single solve, which is pretty cool. Even though I got an average of 19.74 because my that single, I'm not very good at Pure Minks. I I just signed up for fun because I wanted to do as many events that I could. Um, so yeah, for Pure Minks, I got uh, a 19.74 average, uh, which isn't very good. But that was uh, the third event that I did. First event I did was actually two by two. Two by two, I'm not very good. I got a 12.95 uh, average and a best single of 10.66. Um, I wasn't expecting that much for two by two, um, but it was early in the morning and I just wanted to compete as quick as possible, so I decided I'll sign up for two by two. Um, it was kind of weird because my first ever official solve was two by two, and the guy who happened to sit down right next to me as I was starting to solve was Bill Wang. So I was kind of nervous because, like, literally the fastest guy in Canada sat down beside me. But by the time I started my solve, he was already done because he could solve in like one second. So I wasn't that nervous after that, but I was like kind of shaking because. It was my first solve, but after that, I did pretty good. I actually recorded a bunch of solves. Um, I probably had them up here, up, up here when I don't have my solves here. Um, so as you can, uh, cube you can see in the video is actually my new main. I got a way long GTS V2. Now, some people say you shouldn't keep buying new cubes, but I just really wanted to get it because... When I bought the GANs, um, I then the GTS2 came out. I said I sh and I thought I should have waited and gotten a GTS2 because I tried a U long before, or not a U long, a way long, and I had a U long, and I really like um, just how MoU cubes are built in general. So I bought a way long V2, GTS V2, um, and it's my new main. Uh, so the GANs is just sitting on my desk. That's quite sad. But, um, so then I did 3x3, and when I was doing 3x3, I was waiting in line to buy, um, all the new stuff I got, so I bought my GTS2, and I also bought a stack mat, which you can see in this video, it's a GX Edge, and I bought a bottle of Maru Lube, and a stand, that's really all I bought, um, but as I was in line, I thought, I just, because I felt someone's, uh, GTS2 straight out of the box after he bought it, and I said, I really like this. I might buy I might buy it straight out of the box and compete with it. Um, my dad was still waiting in line to pay by the time I started doing 3x3. So uh, I had to go compete, so I competed with my GANs. When I finished 3x3, I opened up my GTS2 and realized that it was made out of the box. So I could have, if I was a few minutes faster, I could have unboxed it and used it as my main. But I didn't. So I competed with the GANs. And I got an average of 40.07, uh, which is actually a pretty bad average for me. And I got a uh, best single of 35.44, which is also very bad for me. I was really expecting 
a uh, pro- hope. I was really hoping a sub 35 single and uh, sub 40 average, but uh, I couldn't get that. So after that, I did Pyraminx, and I already told you how Pyraminx went. Uh, so then my last event was Skub, and I was really, really hoping I was going to make Skub second round because Skub is like my favorite event. Uh, Skub is basically my main event. I'm very good at Skub, in my opinion. For a beginner, I'm not that good at Skub. Um, but I got an average of 14.70 and a best single of 9.45. Um, there was, I was 75th in the, um, 75th in the stand, in the, uh, standings for Skub. Uh, I'm gonna look here. How many? Uh, how many places I was off of going on to second round? So yeah, I finished 75th, and um, I don't know how many people made second round exactly. Um, oh, for 16 people made it. Uh, so but the last. For the 16th person in Skew Final, he had a 961 average, so I could have, um, if I had a better average and I didn't choke because I completely blew it. Uh, if I didn't choke, I could have uh, gone higher up. Um, I could have made Skew Final. So for my next competition, which will probably be in Toronto, because I know they do Toronto Summer every year. Hopefully, when I make it to, when I go to Toronto, I will make the skew final or second round at Toronto. So there might be a lot of uh, a lot of people um, there. So there might be more people to make skew, but there will be more people competing in skew in general. So that's how I did in my competition. When I was done, I just did a lot of uh, judging. Um, I judged uh, two by two second round, three by three second round. And that's it. That's all I judged. And then I left before five, four by four and five by five. Oops. Um, but yeah. So in general, it was a pretty awesome experience. Uh, I got a card, my my name tag. Um, I could just take it out of the thing, and I got it signed by Paradox Cubing, Bill Wang, and Ryan Cho, just because he just got a national record and. It was kind of funny because when before he got his national record, before he went up to solve, I was talking to him and he was saying how uh, he used to have the national record and he hasn't had it in forever, he said. But he also said everybody gets good scrambles but him. And literally 15 minutes later, he goes up, gets a good scramble, a seven-move solve, and gets the national record. So it was kind of, kind of all worked out. So, um... So yeah, like I said, pretty awesome experience. If you haven't gone to a competition, I very much recommend it. Um, Even if you're not very good, it doesn't really matter. Just go and clearly I'm not very good, so, and I still went up and uh, just tried and look look at this. It was a great experience. Um, So yeah, look for a competition near you, worldcubeassociation.org, not that hard. Um, If you want to, I will put, if you want to see my... Uh, stats. I'll put my uh, WCA profile in the description. It's also on my um, channel links if you ever want to see it. So uh, just head on over there, look at my PBs, look at my averages, uh, look at all my solves for every event. I didn't DNF the entire um, competition. I did not do a DNF. Uh, so if you, I did four events. It says I have 20... Uh, completed solves, which is pretty cool. No DNFs. So hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, just smash the like button. Subscribe if you are, haven't. And uh, that's been it. Peace out.